Welcome to the Easy Links course for setting carrier logins, carrier defaults and creating quote templates for member agencies. In this video, you'll learn how to set your member agency carrier login credentials so you can start rating in Easy Links, how to set default answers to carrier questions, how to create and use a quote template, and how to set broker fees. So, let's get started. First, to receive quotes in Easy Links, carrier logins must be set. Depending on how you are granted access to your carriers, will determine if you must set the logins yourself, or if they will be set for you. The main way to tell if you are responsible for setting the carrier logins in Easy Links is whether or not you can log into the carrier's website. If you can log into a carrier's website to finalize quotes and bind policies, Easy Links refers to this type of carrier as an independent account. If a carrier is an independent account for you, then it is your responsibility to set the carrier logins in Easy Links yourself. If you cannot log into the carrier's website to finalize quotes and bind policies, Easy Links refers to this type of carrier as a shared account. Normally, you are being granted access to this carrier in Easy Links via a parent agency. If a carrier is a shared account for you, then it is the responsibility of an admin at the parent agency to set the carrier login in Easy Links for your agency. To receive quotes back from a carrier so that we can display them in Easy Links, carrier logins must be set. If you are new to our rating engine product, this should be one of the first steps taken to getting you up and running. If you update your logins on the carrier's website, you should also update them in Easy Links. This will help minimize any unnecessary carrier login errors. If the carrier's website is stating that your carrier login will expire soon, you should update the logins on both the carrier's website and in Easy Links. A login expiration warning acts like a pop-up blocker to Easy Links, so if you do not update your logins when the warning appears, Easy Links will not be able to connect to the carrier's website to receive quotes to display. If you are receiving a carrier login error in Easy Links, updating your carrier logins is the first troubleshooting step you should take. Please note that password saving tools like LastPass will also need to be updated if you update your carrier logins on the carrier's website. If they are not updated and you allow them to autofill into Easy Links, they will prefill the old logins which will be invalid. Next, let's go over Carrier Quoting Setup. To navigate there, hover over the Settings icon and click Carrier Quoting Setup. Here, you'll have the option to search for carriers, whether independent or shared. Next to that click the filter icon to filter by line of business and state. Now, locate the carrier you need to set a login for. Notice View Details and the Visit Carrier Site button. Click on View Details. Here, you'll see the states and line of business you are set up for with the carrier. As a branch user you will need to reach out to your parent organization to add new carriers or line of business. At the top of the page click on Logins. Here, you can enter your username and password. Then, click Save and Test. Please note. If your admin or parent organization has shared the login, you will see the default login already saved and ready to go. Now, when the carrier login saves successfully, you should see a green checkmark. If the login credentials are incorrect or need to be updated, you can click clear to remove the previous credentials. You'll need to do this for each independent carrier. If you receive an error message when setting a login in Easy Links, we suggest testing your login credentials directly on the carrier site by clicking the Actions button and selecting Visit Carrier Site. This will open a new window of the carrier's login page. Once here, you can type in your login credentials to confirm them or contact the carrier for further assistance if you need to. If you have state-specific logins, select the state from the above drop-down, then save and test your login like we mentioned before. Please note. State-specific logins are only used if your carrier has different portals or logins based on the state needed to quote. Unless your carrier provides you logins for different states, we recommend not filling out the state-specific logins to avoid any unnecessary errors. Next, we have Carrier Questions. Click on Carrier Questions at the top. Every carrier has specific underwriting questions that must be answered in Easy Links before they can provide a quote. Carrier questions allow Easy Links users to set answers to the carrier's underwriting questions. These answers will automatically prefill into new rating applications to make quoting quicker. The answers can still be changed on the Carrier Questions tab in the application, if necessary. To change your answers to the carrier questions, select the state from the drop-down menu, then select the line of business. 
answer the questions under my answers in the corresponding fields. You can toggle only show unanswered questions to show unanswered questions that need to be set. Once you've updated all the answers you'll scroll down and click save. Please be aware that any answers entered in the My Answers field will override any agency answers, which can be set by your agency admin. Once you've set your carrier default answers, you'll want to make sure to click the Carrier Answers pre-fill toggle on the first tab of the rating application. Now, let's discuss how to set up broker fees. Please note, your member agency admin will need to set up broker fee access for each carrier, independent or shared, before you can enter in the broker fee defaults for your EasyLinks account. To set up the broker fees, click on the Broker Fees tab at the top of a carrier card. First, let's cover the Show Broker Fees in My Returned Quotes option. By default, this option will be automatically turned on. This will allow those that have access to the broker fee for this carrier to be able to see the broker fee in the Quote Results page. Next, you'll need to enter a broker fee amount for each line of business you are licensed for. Note, there are two columns, My Defaults and Agency Defaults. These work the same as the Carrier Questions feature. You can choose between a flat amount by clicking the dollar sign or percentage amount, up to two decimal places, by clicking the percent sign. If you do not see the flat amount versus percentage amount option, then that means your agency admin has locked the value and wants you to use the agency default amounts they have set up. When you're done, remember to click the Save button at the bottom of the page. To learn more about broker fees, check out our rating engine, Map Support for Broker Fee article. Finally, we'll go over quote templates. With quote templates, you can set common answers to application questions in a template, then have those answers pre-fill into applications. To create a quote template, first you'll navigate to a customer account. We suggest using a dummy account when creating templates. This ensures that you don't accidentally remove real customer data. If the account doesn't have any applications, you can create a new one by clicking Add Application, then selecting a line of business. If the account already has an application, you can add a line of business by clicking Actions, then Add Application and selecting a line of business. Manual applications are meant for lines of business not supported by the rating engine like Health. Next, you'll need to go through each tab of the application and fill out the answers that you'd like saved to the quote template. Once all questions have been answered, you'll land on the last tab and click Save as Template. Here, you'll enter the template name. If you'd like to set the effective and expiration dates for the template for a future date, then you can use these drop-down menus. If you'd like to share this template with other users at your agency or branches, you can click these buttons. When ready, click Save. Please note that once a template is created it cannot be deleted, only overwritten. Once the template is saved you can use it on a customer's rating engine application by selecting it from the drop-down menu on the rating tab, then clicking apply to pre-fill the fields in the rating application with the information from your quote template. Please note, when you apply a template, it will overwrite any information that has already been input into the rating applications. This concludes the course for carrier logins, carrier defaults and quote templates for member agencies. You should now know how to enter your carrier logins for rating, how to set up answers for your carrier default questions, how to create and use quote templates for rating, and how to set broker fees. Thanks for watching.